especially when she had gotten diagnosed with Alzheimer's. She wrote, she forgot what she had for dinner the night before, but she remembered the dinner that she had on her fifth birthday. You know, it was just things like that that were so bizarre, especially because I studied and still study Alzheimer's. I really wanted to hone in on those stories to make her feel safe and to make her feel um, heard. Um, and so I, she told me all of these stories. So from, you know, being very young, five, six years old, but now, you know, up until I was 16, she, she was telling me these stories. Some of them I had heard a hundred times over. <laughs> Some of them I'd heard, you know, here for the first time. And I, Nan, you've never told me that. Oh, well, yeah, I never thought you'd care. <laughs> thought, and I'm like, Nan, of course I care. No, you hate me. I'm like, Nan, no. So, you know, everybody, everybody, um, listen to these stories but specifically me because I was with her so much and uh, and I you know I have an artistic mind and so those stories are something that I, I kind of I saw in my head a huge passion of mine had I have not you know maybe take so you mentioned your grandma there uh, Millie so, so how else did she kind of like inspire the story was there kind of like details that she kind of gave you or I mean, right before she died, um, I, I put an audio recording on and just had her really tell me these stories again and again, um, which she really enjoyed. <laughs> um, in her Cockney accent, she was like, all right, I'll tell you another one. <laughs> so uh, we were really able to, you know, get all of the anecdotes and the wonderful things that she'd say that you'd think, how did, how did she go through all of this? But um, we really wanted to transpire that strength yeah. that she had into the book. I mean, you, you found out lots of detail, one of them being that your family were, were sort of a family of hustlers, mm. which has made its way into the book as well in the form of a storyline, hasn't it? Yes, so there's a story uh, in, in the book where there's a dog, the family dog, runs the uh, dog race and wins. And so the next day they think, oh, OK, we can't re-enter him, so we'll paint him. Great. Um, <laughs> so they, they painted him and uh, unfortunately it started raining. And, oh, wow. And they got caught. But um, that's actually on my paternal side of the family, but the story was too good to not put into the book. I love it. So my nan would be like, that's not my part of the family. But it was yeah. my dad's side. It's a, such a good story that we was like, we have to bring it. it in there wow. somehow. So it's, uh, yeah, definitely embarrassing. But honestly, I'd do it. <laughs> if it was like, you know, animal friendly paint, of course, yeah. <laughs> then I would do good it. Good save, Millie. Yeah. Good save. Good save. Yeah. We've also had another question in uh, from a viewer called Alex. Um, they want to know what you do on your days off, essentially. Gosh, I'm with my animals. Um, I'm, I'm just constantly with my animals. Uh, I have, I have lots. I have a donkey and You've a, got a pony donkey and yeah, <laughs> yes, and lots wow. of anim uh, lots of dogs and cats. So I, I spend lots of time, um, you know, vaccinating them, uh, finding uh, foster and rescue dogs new homes. Amazing. Um, and so I spend most of my free time doing that on the farm.